close your eyes and be right here. Don't go off being someplace else. Be right with the awareness of breath coming in, the breath going out. And as for other thoughts, you can just watch them pass, watch them pass. Don't feel that you have to collect them or that you're missing out on anything by not following them. This is one of those cases where less is more. You focus just on one thing, or the breath, and you really get to know it well, and you've learned something valuable. If you go around gathering up all your thoughts, you find that there's not much there. It's like walking down the road and just picking up everything you find on the side of the road. You get home and you find you've got a basket full of junk, full of dirt. Maybe one valuable thing in there at all. But you've been lugging it around and you don't really have to. So just stay here with the breath and you find the mind is a lot lighter and when you get back back home you find you've got something really valuable you've taken with you. You've learned about your own mind. You've watched the processes. You understand what the mind does. It's like opening up a machine and looking inside and figuring out which gear runs which gear or which connection makes the thing work. When you understand your mind that way, then you can begin to see when it's churning out bad stuff for you. And then you recognize, okay, this is not necessarily true, or even if it's true, it's not useful. Or if it's, maybe it's useful, but this may not be the right time. You've got to have some control over these processes, but recognize, okay, everything that comes up is churned out through the process. So you want to get control over the processes so they, get, they create good things for you. And you could recognize them when they're good. Now learn that kind of lesson. You've really placed yourself above all the things that you otherwise would gather up. And you're in a much better position. Okay, This is where less is more. Think about one thing. Don't think about a lot of things. Just this one thing right here. And the knowledge goes deep. It's broad. It covers everything. I mean, the facts you learn about the world outside. I know in my own case, thinking about all the classes I took in science and whatnot, and now the science has all changed. The classes you take in history, okay, history has all been revised. You pick up all those facts and you've just got a lot of stuff that eventually wears out and is no good anymore. It's like getting a lot of medicine that you keep for years and years, and when you finally open the bottle you discover it's expired and it's not good anymore. So instead focus on something that's always good. I mean, the way your mind works. The way it works as a child is the same way it works as an adult. Picks up things and can create a lot of suffering out of them. That's what everybody does from childhood on up into death, unless you learn a better way, which is what we're doing right now. Something that's really valuable, the kind of knowledge you get here, is really worth knowing. So pay a lot of attention right here. As for all the other stuff, you just let it go. And you come out richer in the end.